do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends in the last lecture we have studied the elevation in boiling point which has relation with the molar mass of solute now we are doing a numerical which is based on that formula or that equation let us do that numerical so in the given screen we have a question which is based on a numerical based on elevation in boiling point so before getting the solution we should know how to extract the data from the given question so let us find it out so the question is we have to calculate the mass in gram of impurity in this case the impurity is resembled to the solute because a solvent is always pure a pure solvent so in this case we are adding solute in the form of impurity so in this case impurity is nothing but solute so basically we have to find out the mass of solute which has a molar mass of 100 gram per mole which would be required to raise the boiling point of 50 gram of chloroform in this case 50 gram of chloroform is resembled to pure solvent means we have to increase the boiling point of the pure solvent chloroform by adding an impurity and how much amount of impurity we have to add so that the and how much amount of impurity we have to add so that the elevation in boiling point should be 0 0.30 kelvin let us find it out but before that we have also a small data which is very much essential for us which is elevation in boiling points ebullioscopic constant which is kb the kb value for the chloroform or for the pure solvent is given as 3.63 Kelvin kg per mole. So this all data that we have now let us write it and determine what is the amount of impurity that we can calculate or that we should add in the pure solvent. So from the data the thing which is given to us is the molar mass of solute that is mb which is 100 gram per mole for a convenience let us convert this gram into kilogram because the value of kb is also present in kilogram The another data which is 50 gram of chloroform means 50 gram of pure solvent again but in this case it is weight or mass so for weight we give a symbol as w of pure solvent which means a w a in this case is 50 gram of chloroform that is ch Cl3. Again, for a convenience, we will convert the gram into kilogram. So 50 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg. And the rest thing is that the elevation in boiling point or the boiling point which has been raised is now 0 0.30 Kelvin, which means it talks about delta Tb, which is 0. 30 Kelvin and at last we have a data that is ebullioscopic constant which has a value 3.63 Kelvin kg per mole so this all four datas are with us and with the help of this let us find out the value of MB which is left So let us find out the value of WB which is left. We know the formula that is 
delta TB is equals to KB into WB divided by MB into WA in kg means the value of wa should always be in kg so the delta tb that we have got from this question is 0 0.30 and that for kb we have got 3.63 and wb this is the value that we don't know right now and the value of MB which is now with us is 100 into 10 raised to minus 3 and that of the value of WA is 50 into 10 raised to minus 3 so by doing a calculation we could find WB as 0 0.30 into 100 into 50 into 10 raised to minus 6 the whole divided by 3.63 and let us see what the what answer will get okay so now we can write this numerical in this format this happened because 10 raised to 2 has been converted from 100 and 50 has been converted into 10 raised to 1 which makes you 10 raised which makes which gives the value 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 and the whole divided by 3.63 so this equation will give you a value 0 0.413 and 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 10 raised to minus 6 is nothing but 10 raised to minus 3 so this is the answer that we will get in kg why because all the units that we have taken for the value was represented by kg so this is the finance so by this thing we could calculate the amount of solute that is required to raise the boiling point by a simple formula of elevation in volume. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have got an idea how to calculate this kind of numerical. So please subscribe this channel ekina.com and please send your friends too. Thank you so much.